After a four-year-old girl was blinded by the flu, her mother shared this desperate warning. With Christmas approaching in 2019, young Jay Delusia was struck down by a bout of flu. After a short period, her condition then took a terrifying turn and the virus caused the girl to lose her sight. Given the severity of the situation, her mom Amanda Phillips issued a stern warning to other parents out there in January 2020. To begin with, Jade informed her mother that she felt under the weather. Soon, she was showing signs of a fever. At that point, Phillips gave the youngster some medication, which appeared to keep things under control. In fact, her condition looked to be improving as she spent time with her older sibling. But that all changed a few days later, due to Jade's ailing condition. She was rushed to the hospital ahead of Christmas Day, leaving her family in a horrible position. From there, it was soon discovered that Philip's daughter had been blinded by the flu, leading the mom to share an important warning. Jade's symptoms first came to light on December 19, 2019, with just six days left until Christmas. She flagged up her ailing condition to Phillips, who tried to make her feel better. Looking back on that period, the mom gave some insight into what she did next with CNN in January 2020. Phillips told the television channel, Jade would say, Mom, I don't feel good, and we had cuddle on the couch. After that, the four-year-old started to display signs of a low-grade fever, which prompted her mother to act. The Waterloo resident subsequently got hold of some medication to help ease the problem. That decision appeared to pay off over the next few days, as Jade responded positively to the medication. Thanks to her improving condition, she was also able to spend more time with Catalina in the build-up to Christmas. So, given how things were at that point, Phillips believed there was nothing else to worry about. Jade was running around, having fun, eating normally, asking for snacks. Phillips recalled, it was just, it's a little bug, she will get over it. There wasn't any sign that would have told me that something was seriously wrong with her. On that note, her world was turned upside down on the morning of Christmas Eve. Just a few hours before that, Father De Lucia was in charge of the children at home. At the time, she was seeing out a shift at Dollar General. While she was away, the dad put Jade to bed ahead of a busy morning, as their clan prepared to visit some relatives. From there, Phillips and De Lucia got everything together on Christmas Eve, but they realized that their youngest daughter wasn't ready. In fact, Jade was still in her bed, which prompted her dad to wake her up. However, as he tried to communicate with his daughter, she showed no signs of responding. Alongside that, Jade's body temperature was through the roof as well, leaving Phillips in a state of utter panic. I yelled at Delucia. She revealed to CNN. I was like, we have to go. We have to go to the emergency room. This isn't right. Something's not right with her. As a result of Jade's worrying condition, her parents quickly transported her to the Covenant Medical Center. Unfortunately, that didn't signal the end of the drama, as the four-year-old's body began to convulse at the facility. Her eyes also rolled, which indicated that she had been suffering from a seizure. After getting things under control, the hospital staff admitted that Jade required treatment at another facility. They planned to take the youngster to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital, some 80 miles from Waterloo. And due to the severity of the situation, they couldn't just drive there via an emergency vehicle. Instead, Jade was loaded into a helicopter for her trip to the hospital, but Phillips and Dilucia couldn't join her. I didn't think I was going to see her again at that point, the mom said. I really didn't. Just from looking at her, I really honestly didn't think I was going to see her. Once Jade arrived at the facility in Iowa, the physicians there made a diagnosis. As it turned out, she was struggling with influenza B, one of the three main variations of the flu. 
Off the back of that discovery, Philip's daughter was then transferred to the pediatric intensive care unit. For you see, after undergoing an MRI scan, the doctors realized that Jade had encephalopathy. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention highlight that particular condition as a complication of the flu virus which attacks the brain. Phillips and Delucia eventually saw the images from the scan for themselves on Christmas Day at the hospital. Reflecting on that moment, Phillips painted a rather vivid picture when describing the scan results. She told CNN, Jade's brain was lit up like a Christmas tree. The doctors said she had significant brain damage. They said our child might not ever wake up, and if she did, she might not ever be the same. At that point, Jade's family were forced to play the waiting game, as she was still unconscious. In the meantime, a doctor named Teresa Czech started to watch over the youngster. Furthermore, she also narrowed down the problem in her brain following a bit of research on New Year's Eve. According to Dr. Czech, Jade was dealing with acute necrotizing encephalopathy, better known as AIN. This condition is incredibly rare, so the physician couldn't find extensive information on it at first. In the end, she uncovered a report that focused on four affected kids. Only one of these survived the ailment. Despite that bleak outlook, though, Czech didn't give up on Jade, as she looked to bring down the brain swelling. So, to do that, the doctor administered a round of steroids. Then, over a week on from that awful Christmas Eve, an important breakthrough was made at the medical facility. On New Year's Day, Jade finally stirred from her unconscious state, much to the delight of her relatives. Unsurprisingly, Phillips was beside herself with joy when the long-awaited moment arrived. The mom informed CNN. She's got her eyes open, she's looking around, we got a couple of hand squeezes, and then we got a smile. However, while Jade showed some positive signs of recovery after waking up, another problem came to light. Phillips noted that her daughter wasn't responding to visual stimuli, such as when she placed a toy before her eyes. An eye expert subsequently looked over the four-year-old, yet they couldn't identify the issue. Following that examination, the doctors realized that the AIN was to blame. Czech spoke about Jade's condition with CNN as well in January 2020. She explained, we don't know if she is going to get her vision back. In about three to six months from now we will know. Whatever recovery she has at six months, that's likely all she is going to get. Meanwhile, Phillips had a warning for other parents out there after Jade's ordeal. As it turned out, the youngster hadn't received a vaccination for the current flu season, which started back in September 2019. So given what happened to her daughter over Christmas, the mother offered up a strong message. Phillips told CNN, we want parents to know they should get a flu shot every season. If I can stop one child from getting sick, that's what I want to do. It's terrible to see your child suffer like this. Those words were echoed by a doctor in Colorado, too. As for Jade, she took the next significant step on the road to recovery on January 9, 2020. At that stage, Phillips and Delucia's daughter arrived back home, albeit without her sight. During this period, the family were also receiving some welcome financial assistance via a GoFundMe page, which was put up in December 2019. The fundraising page was set up by a man named Brandon Weber, who lived in the same neighborhood as Delucia and Phillips. Since then, more than $48,000 has been generated from over 1,300 separate donations on the website. The total is now nearing ever closer to the goal, worth $50,000. But while the money continues to pour in, Weber shared some incredible news on January 26, 2020, writing an update for the page. He revealed, On Christmas Eve, Jade fought for her life sleeping deep into a coma. Eleven days later she awoke. Two days later she walked. 
Three days later, she was released home, the only issue being she was blind. Weber added, but nine days later, Jade's sight began to return. It took only 28 days. I sit here this early morning in O. Not only did a miracle take place for Jade, but her journey brought thousands into the light. Her smile, her soft words, her courage and especially her sweet hugs are a healing force for us all.